She shared with her 1.2 million followers. Be jealous, uh, Menace. I know. Yeah, I know. A list of 117 reasons why she doesn't want to have kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she put a, a lot of thought into this. Wow. Yeah. And Greg, at uh, number 75, uh-huh. uh, she lists here, a whole room of people see your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the main reason. That should be number oh, okay. one on the list. That's so funny. <laughs> she also puts on there, like, you're not having to go to your kids' like sporting events. Right. No pick up and drop off from school. You know, mm-hmm. all that kind of the so, epidural needle is massive. Oh, yeah, that's so true. giving birth, being pregnant, and parental crap. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything that has to do with the parent. Or right. being yeah. a parent. It's on the list. Or being pregnant. Yeah, it's easier to move without kids. Oh, really? Flying can be almost impossible with a child. And more expensive. Oh, here you go. Number mm. 27. You could tear. <laughs> you could oh, tear. Oh, yeah. You could um, tear. You can get kidney stones from pregnancy. Forget that. <laughs> okay. Their yeah. suffering is your suffering. Sure. Yeah. She also has a list here. They are your responsibility until the day you die. No way. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I know people say, oh, until they're 18. No, it's uh, forever. No. They can be bullied. They can be bullies. Oh, yeah. Kids can be ungrateful. So, of course, a lot of people are she like, she is nailing this. <laughs> a lot of people are like, preach, girl. Yeah. Kids can be criminals. But also, oh, here's the other one. Um, she says, uh, while you're pregnant, they can poop inside of you. Oh, that's mm. right. Wow. She's okay. grossed out by pregnancy like I am. Yeah. You know, people <laughs> calling her brave. Others say, hey, brave. very honest and personal. <laughs> I call it hilarious, Br- maybe. Brave. But some bomb because, you know, there it's there funny. is there is pressure on people. I think especially women, right? To like There can be. To... I told my mom when I was uh, five <laughs> that I never wanted to have kids. She's like, okay. Yeah. Like she never once was like. Begging for grandkids. Pressuring me to try yeah. to get married, pressuring nope. me for grandkids. But I'm saying, I think even if you don't have somebody pressuring you, I kind of feel like there's like a societal. There used to be. Thing. I don't. I it's think less and less. For sure. Because more and more people have no interest in being parents. Some people also labeled her self centered, selfish, said she would regret it when she's old and lonely. That's a stupid argument. That, see, now that's a stigma, I think, that if you don't have children, you know, your later years are just going to be fraught. Oh, yeah. True. You know? And there's no guarantee your kids are going to be well, cool with you in exactly. your later years. They might be They'd freeloaders. They probably grow up, yeah. they hate you. <laughs> I mean, look, you ended up becoming a uh, a caretaker. I did. For a while. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So that was nice. Like, if, That's you, true. if your dad didn't That's have true. you, I mean, he still had your mom, but your mom was out there working. She was, she was the primary caregiver for sure. Sure. But, and he, yes, he was lucky that. The that two she, of us were around. That he had you, Rave, see? Yeah. Right, but had he not had kids, wouldn't make him selfish. No, it's yeah. not right. selfish to not have cool. kids, Just but as, so. the way she's talking about it is, like, as if somebody who had a kid would be so worried about their C-section yeah. scar that they wouldn't do it. Yeah, like, I right. regret this. I don't think or those are the reasons. Also, in the womb. also, just have <laughs> kids in the prime years of your life, so just in case later on you might need somebody to <laughs> feed you at your... Yeah, at your bed. I don't think that's the reason that people have them. <laughs> I mean, I that was the just, kind of the argument you were making right now. Uh, I, I just think it's like, um, I, I, I mean, I have known people, family, friends, mm-hmm. who they did regret it when once they were like they went through the whole thing of like, man, I'm so happy I never had kids until they're about 70, 75, 80, and at that point, everybody else around you is gone, and you really don't have anybody. Yeah. Like, everybody's gone. And so people make the argument, like, well, you will always, if you have kids, if things work out right, I mean, you know, obviously things happen, but you will always have family until the day But that you is die. also that's selfish. that's not even not true. That's super selfish as well when you're in your 70s and the, the, the younger people are in the prime years of their life, but then they have to take care of you. That's weak. She says, as an old lady, I'm going to be enjoying my life with a margarita in my hand, going on my <laughs> yes. hot girl walks with my beautiful husband, 400 Pomeranians. And gossiping with all the old biddies about their kids. <laughs> I'd rather have a kid than a Pomeranian. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Those little douchey dogs. <laughs> what a-holes. Yeah. <laughs>